Hi guys, you're right. So a couple of weeks ago, I ran into this girl that I used to work with, and she asked me what happened, why I left. I've always kind of thought I'd tell this story some point way down the line, but I thought, why not just tell it now? So it was a place that I left kind of just under a year ago. But the thing that really led up to me leaving was the fact that a few new management came in, and when we first started working there, we were trained to take orders on iPads, and this was my first job as a waiter in a restaurant. That's basically how I learned to do my job. So. So this new management came in, decided they didn't like the iPads, they were going to get rid of them, which meant that I had to work at the same level that I was always working at, but I had to use a pen and paper, which just absolutely made me panic, made me really nervous, I just wasn't used to it, and I was kind of regarded as one of the better members of the team, so they had to expect me to work at the same level whilst working with an entirely different system than I'd been trained in. This goes on, I kind of accept the fact that I'm just going to have to use pen and paper, fine, it's a bit stuck in the past as opposed to moving with the future with iPads and what have you, but I'll get over it, I'll accept it. And then there comes a day when there's a complaint from one table, that's because I'm struggling, working on my own, I'm trying to keep up, and it just resulted in a complaint. I spoke to management about this, I was by no means silent, said, look, I'm struggling, you've changed how things are, I can't keep up with this. So that complaint's dealt with, move on, keep going, still working there. And then, it was maybe a few weeks later, I'd had a little bit of a rough day before I went into work. My mind's already racing about so many things and then I get in and I'm trying to work but basically my mind works its way into this full-blown panic attack. I'd never really kind of experienced anxiety before this. I didn't know what it was. My mind was kind of racing. I was trying to just think about everything and I mentioned it to this one girl that worked there, told her how I felt and she said, oh that sounds like classic anxiety. That didn't really help the panic attack because basically all I thought was, oh god I'm having some kind of anxiety attack. What is this? Is it a bad thing? Who knows? So my mind's just going crazy, make a few mistakes on that shift. And I remembered hearing someone say if members of staff are struggling with anxiety and depression, that management should be kind of looking out for that and should be realizing it and should be paying attention so that those kind of things don't happen. So my way of trying to let them know was just to kind of drop hints like I'm not feeling well, but no one kind of said anything. And it got to kind of a point where I knew I kind of had to calm myself down so I went into the back room I was taking a sip of water just to calm myself down and one member of management just followed me and stood and stared at me and watched me just try and calm myself down and instead of thinking like is everything all right no she just goes on with like an I don't care whatever attitude so that was my first attempt at calming down my next attempt was just to distract myself and not think about all the things that were running around in my head so okay this is something that I will take responsibility responsibility for. Me and a few other members of staff were just playing around with each other, telling each other, oh that table wants the bill, when they didn't, and it was just kind of a funny thing, and there was one point where me and a couple of members of staff were kind of laughing about something, and the owner who owned the restaurant saw that happening, and I can understand from his point of view he will have been looking and thinking, oh they're just joking around, they're taking the mic, they're not doing their jobs properly, and obviously the management will have said to him, look there's a problem with David. I understand completely how it looks. So anyway, shift carries on, get to the end of the night, and I'm called into the office. And this manager says, look, I'm gonna have to let you go. There's been a few mistakes and complaints and things like that. And I said, look, well, basically, you've changed all of the system around. I've been struggling. I've told you I've been struggling. To which this manager then said, well, we've tried helping you, which instantly I was like, hmm, no, you have not helped. All you've done is micromanage me and tell me, you need to do this now, you need to do that now. When these were parts of my job that I would routinely do every day that I perfectly knew how to do. And I told her, look, I spoke with the girl that worked there that told me it might be anxiety and said that I think I've had a panic attack, but I've never dealt with that before, so I didn't know how to say anything. And the only response I got back from the management was, the owner already knows, so there's nothing I can do. Which just completely speaks a million words about this company the fact that, oh, the owner knows, so there's nothing I can do. By this point, I've worked in hospitality for about two and a half years-ish. I've worked with some amazing management, I've worked with some pretty awful management, but I've never worked with an owner who was so awful, just completely feared by his staff. So then I just kind of accept it, whatever, they've had to let me go. And the only advice that I get from that manager who let me go is, oh well, if you're struggling with anxiety, I know what it's like, maybe you should just 
just get a job in a different industry, just avoid it altogether, which I have since learned because I am a lot better now and kind of on my journey to getting better, I've learned that avoiding things that make you anxious is completely not the answer to solving the anxiety. So that's the only help and advice that I got from her. Anyway, I just thought I'd kind of get this story out there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.